Okay, so uh, going into the menus now on the 7600, you have uh, a lot more menu features than you have with the Pro 3. Um, this is one of the things you're paying for with this radio. Uh, go into the level and let you see what's in there. You have the different receive tones. You can set it as a filter or you can just change the tone. Uh, you can set the high pass, low pass, AM, FM, CW. All these are the receive and then you have the transmit tones or filters that you can set. And there are the filters the upper and lower sec settings for each filter. Speech gain, drive gain, which is something that you don't have on the uh, Pro 3. <coughs> and that's basically in the levels. The accessories. Starting off with the USB audio squelch, which basically is just saying uh, the the audio squelch will be controlled remotely through the USB port. That's when you hook up like HRD or RSBA1 remote, which I'm going to do a video on remote control of this radio. Uh, the modulation level through the USB port and the data in the data off mode, which is basically just uh, when it's being controlled by the radio. Uh, you are controlling the modulation is coming from the mic or the accessory port at the back versus it being the USB. Uh, software can select that and uh, default it through USB by itself and turn it back over to the mic. And uh, the data one through data three modes uh, are basically setting uh, when you go into like upper sideband data mode uh, is it going to be getting the audio and uh, controls, CIV controls to the USB port or will it be doing it through the accessory port or through the mic? Uh, you have a few choices there. Uh, this one here, the send relay type, uh, really important. A lot of people don't realize this. Uh, it has the MOSFET or it has a, a relay and uh, depending on what kind of amplifier you have you want to make sure that's set right. Uh, I believe that the uh, MOSFET setting, which is there, uh, uses high voltage, low current. Uh, I think it's like uh, 200 volts. I can't remember the amperage. And I think uh, this in, in the relay setting is like 16 volts at like half an amp or something. Uh, you can look at the booklet to see. Uh, this is for an external meter, which LDG makes and uh, you can set for some of those who say about oh well the accuracy of the meter well if you're using an external meter you can actually control the uh, the meter adjustments here and going out again and go down to the display and here you can see I have the LCD brightness set to 5% and I turn that up you can see just how bright it can get and even down low at zero where it is put it about here backlight switches uh, how bright they'll be um, this is all the different display types that you can go through the fonts The meter response is for the digital Fox meter. Um, you can set it for fast or mid or slow. Uh, the meter type, well, this is not going to change right now because uh, that's when you're in the full screen mode. But I have it for standard, uh, which is the analog uh, Fox meter. Uh, when you go in and uh, use extra menus, this gets compressed up into one of two different kinds. Um, you have it here, uh, bar or this kind of S meter, edgewise. Peak hold, memory names, so forth. 
and then you have two different kinds of screensaver. The one uh, I showed before was the rotation, or I'll show later depending on how I edit this. And then your opening message where you can put in your call sign or something else. Uh, time, clock, um, has all different kinds of timers. I think this is mainly for shortwave guys. Uh, you can have the radio turn on at a certain time, turn off at a certain time stay on uh, for a certain length of time when no buttons are pressed and then turn off after that period a uh, couple other things there a lot of that though as I said I think is really geared towards uh, shortwave listeners and probably if you're going to use the radio remotely you might want to have it off and then click on at another point okay others this is everything else calibration markers on the band scope and so forth external keyboard setups and then the good old ICOM CIV data. And go into USB. And this is where you put in the uh, front loaded uh, USB key. And um, you can do all of the uh, different uh, functions with it, such as uh, load, uh, new me load um, memory settings. Uh, save your memory settings including all your radio control settings uh, your memories for channels etc you have the firmware update and uh, format a USB uh, drive or unmount it for removal and uh, that's basically inside the menus